Hello everyone. Welcome to my your programming club. Today we will be solving another daily lead code problem. And the problem's name is length of last word. So the problem statement goes like this. Given a string as consisting of words and spaces, return the length of the last word in the string. Okay, a uh, word is a maximal substring consisting of non space characters only. Okay, so you have to return the length of the last word that is uh, not having any spaces. Okay, a word is a maximal substring consisting of non space characters. So it means that this substring, for example, is not having any space characters. So it is the maximal you know substring and it is the last one so you have to return its length okay and here also you can see that this is the last word which is not having any spaces and it is of length 4 so you have to return 4 and here uh, this particular word was of size 6 so we return 6 okay so this is what we have to do and uh, as for the constraints the length of the string will be of order 10 raised to power 4 and s consists of only english letters and spaces okay and there will be at least one word in s so these are the constraints now let's see how we can solve this particular problem okay so what we will be doing is we will uh, you know solve this particular one in a linear time complexity so let's take one of these examples okay uh, what should we take i guess this should be fine okay so what we will be doing is let me paste it first okay yeah it's fine now let me erase this one yeah so we will be traversing this particular string from left to right direction okay character by character okay so we will be having two variables last length which is initialized to zero and current length length which is initialized to zero okay so as soon as you encounter a character which is empty character by empty character i mean this character okay then you will set your current length to uh, zero okay from whatever value it is having uh, it does not matter so you will reset your current length to zero and before doing so what you will do if before doing so your current length was having some value other than zero okay then you will assign that value to last length okay so this is what you will do okay when you uh, encounter empty character you will reset your current length to zero and before resetting it you will assign its value to the last length if current length happens to be greater than zero okay so this is uh, we are doing in order to so that you know uh, we uh, when we are exiting the whole uh, traversal loop of this particular uh, string then we will be having the length of the last you know word okay and so what we will be doing is we will be running a simply uh, simply a for loop okay let's say we are using c plus plus then we will be having a character and then string will be used this uh, let's say this is the string that is given to you okay we are traversing this character by character and this is the case when uh, you know this character is equal to an empty string and if that's not the case then you will simply increase your current length okay so current length will simply be increased if the current character is not an empty character okay now once you come out of this loop you will check if your current length is still greater than zero okay so this uh, is a case that might uh, you that you might encounter when you know 
you are having this kind of situation okay in this your current length uh, last increment will not be captured inside the loop inside this traversal loop that's why uh, after exiting also you will check if current length is still greater than zero then you will update your last length equal to current length and you will simply be returning current, uh, your last length okay so you if you want you can have a dry run of this i mean it is pretty straightforward so you should not be getting any uh, you know confusion about it and still if you are having any confusion then you can ask your doubts in comment section anyways let's see the implementation of this particular one okay uh this is the implementation okay so current length is zero uh, initially and last length is also zero and then you are traversing the whole string only once okay from left to right direction and if the character that you are currently on uh, is a empty character it it means that it is a space then before resetting your current length to zero you will see if current length is greater than one greater than zero basically and if that's the case then you will assign its value to last length okay and else if this is not the case that your current character is not a empty character then you will simply increase your current length and after exiting this loop you will again check uh, for one last time if your current length is greater than zero okay if that's the case then you will update your last length and finally you will be returning your last length why we are doing so because you know you can have a dry run of this one when you will be at this particular you know uh, this particular string then uh, if you are not using this condition then you will be getting 5 as length of this particular string okay so in order to avoid that 5 or something you will be getting you will be not getting the correct answer okay so we have to dry run in order to check what kind of length we will be getting so that's the reason that we are using this last you know uh, condition okay and uh, this is how we will be solving this particular problem and as far as space and time complexities are concerned uh, space and time complexity wise time complexity wise it's order of n where n is the size of the string okay so order of n and space complexity wise if you ask uh, then we are using only constant extra space we are not using any uh, auxiliary space so that's why it's order of one or constant okay so these are the complexities and this is the approach if you still have any doubts please feel free to ask them in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day ahead